everyone and welcome to The Coin Catch. My name is Andrea. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the last this or that. Now, this was a tricky one. It came down to the wire. This, the private sketchbook of George T. Morgan, America's silver dollar artist. Or that, Inside the Vault, the history and art of Australian coinage. But which one is the winner? I think we're gonna need a drum roll. Guys, we're doing both. Let's do this. The Private Sketchbook of George T. Morgan, America's Silver Dollar Artist. By Karen M. Lee. Forward by Dr. Richard Dotty. George T. Morgan was an artist, a sculptor, and coin designer in the late 1800s and early 1900s. One of his most famous works of art is instantly recognizable. You all know it. It's the American classic, The Morgan Silver Dollar, minted in Philadelphia, New Orleans, Carson City, Denver, and San Francisco from the 1870s until 1921. Today, most collectors know Morgan as the father of this legendary silver coin. Specialists are familiar with his designs for commemoratives and medals, and his significant work in the US pattern coins. But who exactly is George T. Morgan? Karen M. Lee, a curator at the National Numismatic Collection, housed at the National Museum of American History, finally answers that intriguing question. Introducing Morgan's never-before-published personal sketchbook. This also includes unique access to family photographs and documents. Lee reveals the man behind the coins. This is an eye-opening look at George T. Morgan's life of art and labour. Central to this beautifully illustrated volume are 80 pages of Morgan's personal and professional sketchbook. The entirety of the creative journal that he carried from his native England to the United States in the 1870s. And this is definitely one of the major treasures in the National Numismatic Collection. Morgan worked out his designs in this book not over weeks or months, not even simply a few years, but over the course of nearly two decades. It shows us the creative process of one of America's unsung artistic geniuses. Now it was really great to have a look at this book and see the designs that inspired the Morgan dollar. Obviously I'm still learning about US coins, so I did find this uh, a nice book to look at and perhaps find out some things that I didn't actually know, especially the history aspect of things. Inside the Vault, The History and Art of Australian Coinage by Peter Rees. Peter Rees is an acclaimed journalist and author. He was a federal political correspondent for some of Australia's major metropolitan newspapers and is the author of eight books, among them The Boy from Borry Creek, The Tim Fisher Story, Anzac Girls, and bearing witness the remarkable life of Charles Bean, Australia's greatest war correspondent. Ochre trading, convict love tokens, holy dollars, cartwheel pennies, florins, shillings and pence, dollars and cents. For the first time, Inside the Vault uncovers the fascinating history of the art of the nation's currency. Best-selling author Peter Rees traces significant events, the Rum Rebellion, the Gold Rushes, the opening of the Royal Australian Mint, and my personal favourite, the 1966 introduction of decimal currency and their effect on Australia's coinage. Lavishly illustrated, Inside the Vault reveals never before seen designs, sketches and photographs of rare Australian coins. Now I was lucky enough to see these in person when we cleaned out the exhibit one day when I worked at the Mint. Absolutely stunning, so lucky to have held them. Inside the Vault marks the most important date in the story of Australian coinage. On the 14th of February 1966, the lives of Australians were changed, haha, <laughs> pun intended I think, forever with the introduction of decimal currency. The currency that had been the basis for everyday business for generations was no more, as dollars and cents replaced pounds, shillings and pence. As well as that momentous occasion, Inside the Vault also traces the history of Australian coinage back to the arrival of the first fleet at Botany Bay in mid-January 1788. There have been significant events along the way. All of these events have been fundamental to the nation's progress and to the lives of Australians. Now obviously I'm going to love this book because it's Australian, but the amount of history in here was so interesting. There's so many old photographs and of course things that you don't see every day in the National Coin Collection, so I found it interesting for a variety of reasons. Well I hope you enjoyed having a look at both of those books. And thank you for joining me for the This or That series. Next week I'm going to be coming to you from another part of the world. Woohoo! I'll be making my video from... Down under, baby. Yes, that's right. I'm heading to Australia at the end of this week and I hope to find a special spot, perhaps somewhere in nature, to make a video about something hopefully Australian and interesting to you guys. Alrighty. Hope to see you then. Bye.